up everybody it's jj all day back with another video and today we are doing a jordan 4 feeble review um i picked these up from hibbits uh these retail for 200 dollars. not too many people was checking for these niggas because they waiting on other shoes and you know things like that or whatever or maybe they just not hot like that but to me these are dope i like these a lot um i got a list of sneakers that i'm supposed to go back and cop and um it's crazy because i'm noticing a pattern with myself I don't make, I don't get a chance to go back and cop a lot of the sneakers I got on my list. So I feel like if I didn't get these today, I probably wouldn't have picked these up at all. So the price point really didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the, you know what I'm saying? Copping what you like and not what everybody else thinks. So that's the beauty of being a sneakerhead. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what nobody else think about your collection. You just like your collection and do what you, what's best for your collection. So these was a must in my collection. I like what they did with these. But anyway, let's start off with the box. You got your Jordan 12, no. Jordan Fever box with the same box the Jordan 12s came in. Y'all see all the symbols and everything that's on the box, the gold jump man. Y'all see that size, size nine. Like I said, these retail for $200. So um, here you have it, the Jordan 4 Fevers. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments and if y'all are uh, thinking about picking these up or y'all gonna wait till they go on sale. But for me, like I said earlier, this is a shoe that I had to pick up because I feel like if I didn't get it today, I probably wasn't gonna go back and get these. So. These was a must in my collection. And definitely, if these came out maybe three, four years ago, the hype probably would have been crazier for these because of all red shoes that was popping in. They had their little run. But red is my favorite color. I like the small blue hints on this joint. And um, definitely, it was one I had to have. So let's start off with the toe box. You have your nice tumble leather going all the way around the shoe. Also going up the tongue, looking very nice. Like they, I like the way they put these together. That, that leather's looking real good on these. Um, you have your symbols where the cage is supposed to be. That's one of the reasons why people wasn't really liking this shoe for real because they people want the cage or the or the net or whatever you you know how you want to call that you know the traditional fours have but to me i like the switch up that jordan brand did with this something different very nice your symbols is looking good like you could definitely feel them it's nothing flat they definitely um um they definitely stick out you could feel them um you have your um blue jump man on the tongue and your flight in white looking very nice as well you have your blue navy on the midsole with your white outsole looking very crispy. I like that a lot too. You got your gold jump mans on the back looking good. Now that's one of my favorite parts right there. Like just imagine if this shoe was, you know, Nike Air on the back with the gold on it. The gold Nike Air on the back. That would have been crazy right there, man. Uh more of the same on the medial side, looking very clean. Just an overall, just clean colorway in my opinion, man. Blue jump man on the red insole looking nice. You have um for the love of the game on the back of the tongue, as you can see right here, looking very nice. I like when Jordan Brand add like little small details like that. It just make the shoe pop. I like that a lot. You have your red, white, and blue outsole. Jump man in blue, very clean. You have your two extra set of laces that you get that popping. And um, yeah, I just like the fact that they give us options with the laces on this joint. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much, it's the sky's the limit with this joint, man. So, Overall, just a very clean sneaker in my opinion, man. Definitely, like I said before, if I didn't pick these up now, I probably wasn't gonna pick these up at all because it's just so much coming out in the future. And I, I love Jordan 4, one of my favorite silhouettes. So this was like pretty much a no-brainer for me, but definitely seeing these in hand, I will say that I am very impressed with the quality and the material that they use on these. Jordan brand, y'all did an excellent job with these. So definitely, this was a must for me. And um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get another look at that. And uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all picking these up, y'all thinking about picking them up, y'all waiting for me to sell, y'all let me know. But uh, we gonna leave it at that, man. Salute to all my new ones, my day ones, I appreciate y'all. Man, we on the road to 1K. Shout out to my next up crew, the family, that's my brothers right there. We got much more in store. We got, ooh, we got a lot on the way, man. <laughs> y'all stay tuned for that. But shout out to my bros, man, y'all already know what it is. But um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Y'all check out my old videos. Like, comment, share my joints out. Um, it's been a great journey. We're going to continue to keep growing and grinding. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep this thing, keep this content coming. So I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe. And we out. Peace.